Welcome back to the show. Earlier this week, we celebrated National Women and Family Health Day. And this morning, we want to talk all about how primary care plays such a big role in family health. Uh, joining me now is Dr. Janice Johnstone. Is it Johnston or Johnstone? It's Johnston. Johnston. Welcome to the show. Thank okay. you from Thank Redirect you. Health. Uh, so let's talk about the fact that leading a healthy life goes beyond just exercise and eating right. It really is all about having that trusted primary care provider. Why is that so essential? You know, uh, so many things we can identify through preventative screening. And so that's probably the one of the primary things that mm -hmm. uh, your family doctor or primary care doctor will really help you with. And so when you're looking for one, obviously you want to ask the important questions. What are those basic fundamental questions you should be asking? What should you be looking for? In a primary care mm -hmm. doctor. So really what you want is to find somebody that's really accessible. And I think that's probably the biggest thing in primary care with Redirect Health. We really want to make sure that we're super accessible either by the phone. You know, mm -hmm. we do a lot of things through telemedicine now, which right. is awesome. But you want to make sure that you can get in to see your primary care doctor as, as soon as possible mm -hmm. and um, make sure that they're doing all those preventative care uh, screening items for you. And talking about some of those screening items, I mean, they do pre prevent, uh, obviously, a lot of things that we want to avoid. But our primary care provider also provides many services that many people may not realize they provide, right? That's, that's correct. So, you know, you think about maybe going in for a cough or a mm -hmm. cold, those kinds of things. Um, you know, for, for women, getting your pap smear checked is a, mm -hmm. is a huge thing. Getting your mammogram ordered, your breast, breast exam as well. For men, uh, prostate cancer screening. Um, skin cancer screening is something that a lot of people don't think about. And that's something that a lot of primary care doctors uh, will do. And, you know, just talking about prevention is, is a huge thing. We live in a state with the highest incidence of skin cancer Absolutely. in our whole country. And, you know, we're blessed that we have such beautiful sunshine here every day. Mm -hmm. But we do need to make sure that we're careful about our skin. So you brought some items with you. Some I did. Some very important items I that did. we need to incorporate into our daily lives. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think exercise is probably is one of the, the biggest things that, mm -hmm. that you can do for your health. And even if you can do something for 30 minutes a day um, is, a, is a great way. These little items, I mean, you know, there's lots of them now, um, Fitbit, to just track your steps and to see how active you are. Because when you're not active, you're at a desk job or, or you know, what have you, it's, it's, it's easy to kind of get out of that habit of, of not being so active. So these, these little devices can really, really help hold Keep you, you on track. accountable. Yes. Yeah. And how important is strength training oh, my to goodness. women at a certain age? Yeah. Okay. So weights... I mean, Michelle Obama is my hero because yes. of her arms. Like, mm -hmm. who, who wouldn't want Michelle Obama arms? Well, she right? got us talking about why they look so great. <laughs> they do. They do. But weight uh, exercise with weights is really, really important for women because of their bone health. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, you know, as women age, osteoporosis uh, becomes very, very common, mm -hmm. um, especially as women get into menopause. And lifting weights on a regular basis will help to uh, keep your bones really, really strong. Um, other things that you can think about to keep your bones strong are supplements. Mm -hmm. You know, simple, simple things like vitamin D. We find even though we live in this, uh, you know, community that we have an abundance of sunshine, so many people are vitamin D deficient. Well, I'm one of those people, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know that until I had my blood checked. Yeah, and that's something that your primary care doctor can do to, mm -hmm. to help to screen for you. Um, you know, vitamin D, calcium, vitamin E, uh, you know, uh, a good B complex, those things are really, really important. Too. And you mentioned the sunscreen too, and not just any sunscreen, right? Talk to me about the SPF and why that's so important. Well, you're probably the, the, the most you really need to go is an SPS, uh, SPF of 30. Mm -hmm. uh, anything over that, you're really not getting that much additional mm -hmm. uh, uh, benefit from that. And, you know, SPF is not just in, you know, the sunscreen that you buy, um, but it's in a lot of products that women use on a regular basis so we use moisturizer and makeup every single day and so get one that has some SPF in it so that you're getting that protection um, you know on a regular basis we're good about doing our faces yes. but we don't go down so low True. right and we always so, forget our chest area yeah. too which yeah. gets a lot of sun it does very important advice thank you so much if you'd like more information you can go to redirecthealth.com thank you Dr. Johnson thank you. I appreciate it we'll be right back